What is poppin'? We are going to eat. We're finally treating ourselves to some food. You guys, guess what? I'm hungry. I'm working on that merch, by the way. I just haven't had a chance to like sit down and like really think about it. But I do, I am gonna make it. I just, I wanna put thought into it and we've just been nonstop going. I haven't had a second to try and make something. So, it, it, it'll be coming, I promise. We are going to go to one of our favorite restaurants that we've only been to once. <laughs> And we've just been dying to go again and we were like, where should we eat? We want to try something new But then we thought of this place and we've only went once so it's kind of new So we're gonna go to a place called Del Fuego. I don't I think it's just like a one-and-done restaurant. Oh, you can't even see me Great. I think it's just a one-and-done restaurant. I'm not really sure. This is even better. We're going it's... I think that's hilarious real quick One-and-done is like a call of duty term and that's not even the proper way of saying like restaurant But I started saying that and you picked up on it. I think that's amazing One-and-done? Yeah. Like a one-and-done place like there's only one and it's done it's just funny because I started saying that because it's a Call of Duty term. We're just trying to relate everything to Call of Duty. But yeah, we're going to go get some Tex-Mex. Sounds delicious. It's like 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Which I think. Sorry, and I haven't eaten anything. anything. You cut me off a lot. When I was editing yesterday's vlog, it was difficult. Because you never give me a chance to speak. Go ahead, baby. I never know when you want to. So I have to cut you off. Do you want me to start raising my hand? Yes. That'd be great. Yes, Zane? I think Tex-Mex is my favorite kind of food. I agree. What I was trying to say is that it's three o'clock and I still haven't eaten anything, which is weird for me. I usually eat as soon as I wake up, but I've been editing all morning, so. You go, Glen Coco. You go, Glen Coco. We're gonna go eat. I'm gonna stop laughing now. I'm hungry. Got our two hours in and we are ready to oh, feast. Boy. Look at you. Oh, I like, I like, you deserve an Insta pic today. I like those shoes. Who got those for you? Uh, only the best girlfriend. <laughs> Let's take Insta pictures today. Okay. Del Fuego, hey, hey, ho. Oh my god, yum, you guys. I don't know what they do to these chips and what they do to this salsa, but the, oh my god, it's so good. I'm so hungry, I'm shaking. Dramatic or what? <laughs> so I got a chicken burrito. Zane got a steak quesadilla, which I think we're gonna share it. Look, they cut it perfectly. I can give you half, you can give me half. How does that sound? Sounds great. Okay. That was so bomb, but now I am so full. I think I have a food baby. We are at Lowe's. We need to go get some pieces of wood for all of our door frames because my dad is actually gonna be coming today, which is unexpected. I'm very, very grateful and happy that he is gonna be coming today. So we're gonna get a good amount of stuff done, but he needs this wood, so we're gonna grab that. We need an electrical box for our bathroom light fixture, and then we should be good to go. We're gonna look at the booby lights. Don't forget to do that. And there was something else, carpet glue. Let's go look. Lowe's Adventures with Liz and Zane. Lowe's Adventures with Liz and Zane. We need a bottle of caulk because I am not dealing with holes in the walls for bugs to come through. No, 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 no. You guys, these booby lights are the perfect fit. 13 inches, we need a 12, but they'll be a little bit bigger. They have two bulbs inside of them. They're silver, they're beautiful. We're getting them, let's go. And they're cheap, let's go. And they're cheap, 20 bucks. We got the goods, we got the electrical box, we got the clock, and we got our booby lights back there. Although the main thing that we went for was wood, and they did not have it, so we have to go to another store and get that, which is like our main priority of getting like things to do today. I suck at speaking English lately. The wood is what we need for our main priority of what we want to do today, so we need that wood. We gotta go get it. Gotta go get it. Okay guys, Home Depot has saved us. We found the wood. Oh, where is it? There it is. And my dad is ready for us, so we're gonna head home and get this door frame ready so that we can get all that wood and all that sheetrock out of there, because that's really the only thing left that we need to do is do the door frame, so hopefully we can do that. Why? You're cute. I love the effort. That's what makes your vlogs better than everyone else's. Uh -huh. Back home, before I get to working on the apartment, I just have to make the thumbnail for yesterday's vlog. It's already 5.49 and I haven't made the thumbnail yet. It's already uploaded and it just needs a thumbnail. It has a title. So we're gonna do that really quick. Get changed because I'm sweating in this thing, like sweating. So let's get to it. Finally done with that, now I can get changed into my painting clothes and get to work. Before I change, I didn't get to show you guys my outfit of the day. Don't mind Zane's messy room. I think he's fully given up since we're moving in soon. So have I, so I understand. 
don't get too surprised now, but my whole outfit is from Forever 21. <laughs> um, I just recently got this sweater. It is literally so soft. It's so thick. I'm actually sweating in it. It's super warm. So um, hopefully they still have it in stock. I went to link something the other day and it was totally out of stock. So I was very, very sad. But I just bought this. So this better be in stock still. <laughs> I'll be very sad. If not, I always link something similar for you guys. And then my jeans are really, really old. So I'll try to link these as well. I'm super short. I'm only 5'1". Actually, I think I'm like five one and a half at this point now. But anyways, I um, usually can't fit into regular jeans because they're way too long on me. So I actually cut these, but I love these from Forever 21. They're just like basic light high-waisted jeans with little slits. And then I switched it up today. I got a little crazy and I went with my white high tops instead of black. So that is my outfit of the day. And now we're going to get changed. Ready? Eh. Okay, much better. Remember when I used to go to the gym? Yeah, that's a throwback if I've ever heard one. But officially my painting clothes, you guys, I cannot wait to throw these sneakers out. They are smelly, they are so ugly, they are so dirty. And they gotta go, but we have to finish renovations first. That'll be my treat. When we're done, I get to just throw these sneakers out. I'm gonna burn them. <laughs> but let me show you guys something, because I came up here to change. If you watched yesterday's vlog, you saw what Zane's mom was doing. If you get scared easily, don't look. Oh boy, am I in a haunted house or in Zane's house? I don't know. How creepy is this? This little doll talks. It's really creepy. But look, she has like all this spider webs and creepy. Ooh. Ooh. I didn't turn around this side though. I'm kind of scared. Oh, look at that thing up there. Guys, this is frightening. Oh, I hate spiders. What's over here? Oh god, that's so scary. What is that up there? Another spider? Why'd the light stop flickering? Oh, terrifying. I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go this way. Damn it. <gasps> run, 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 run. Dogs, save me. <gasps> RJ, thank you. You saved me. Look at that. It's like entering the Hall of Doom. You see the light flickering on the floor? Oh, no, no. Time to bring in the bathroom vanity. I'll give you guys one last look at our naked bathroom. Actually, Dad, we didn't clean this floor. Oh, no. I <laughs> we should have done it last night. I told you, Bobby. There's probably spackle on it. So what should I do? Scrape it or wipe it? Both. Okay. Sweep it out, see what's left. Okay. Look at it, it's beautiful. Okay, we're bringing in the vanity. So excited, I just swept in here to the best of my ability that I could do in a good 15, eight to 18 seconds. Oh, baby. We made an oopsie. This shelf is gonna be in the way of the plumbing. Wait, can you just cut the back of it off? Or it still won't fit? This is the Can you, mm, can we shorten the pipe behind it and raise it? No? Well. I'm out of ideas. Does that mean it's gonna cut into the draw? No. Oh, no. so just take this off. Oh my God, it's gonna look so pretty in here. If we get it to work, I hope. Moment of truth. So you guys, as normal, we came across a few problems with our vanity that we bought, but have no fear. My dad is here, comes up with a solution, do you know? So basically what we're gonna have to do, oop, that's not the draw. So basically what we're gonna have to do, how do I open this without handles? Oh, got it, okay. As you can see from here, you can't see the plumbing. It's back down there. So he's gonna have to take all these pipes and raise them up so that they can fit through here. Even if we do cut this piece out back here, we're still gonna have to raise the pipes. So Zane ran out to Lowe's really quick. He is going to grab the few connector pieces that my dad needs and some new piping so that we can make this vanity work because we did get it for like a really good price. Plus it's really heavy. It's not worth it to go return. It's not worth it to go find another one. We like the way this one looks. My dad can get around it and fix it. So why not just keep it? So what my dad is trying to do now is figure out where this is gonna sit against the wall so that we can center our lighting, which we opened. I'll show you right now. I almost just slipped and fell. I'm not gonna mess with it too much, but this is how it's gonna hang, and then where are the covers for it? My dad's gonna put it up now, so once it's up, I'll show you guys, but um, it's super cute, so I'll have it linked down below. I know I said it in the last vlog. I don't wanna link something that I wouldn't like, so now that it's open, now that we'll put it up, and I'm gonna know that I'll like it, I'll link it down below for you guys. I wanted to make sure it wasn't crap quality. Also, by the way, I think we made a decision on these handles. I know I asked you guys for your advice, but I think what we're gonna do is close these holes up because they're honestly not that big, and then we're gonna move the handle up on the... 
We're gonna move the handle up on the cabinet so it doesn't look so awkward sitting like so close to the bottom. So as you can see, instead of it sitting down here, we would move it up so that it would sit more, like not centered, but more high on the cabinet so it wouldn't look as weird, which I feel like would fix the issue. Filling in all these holes might be annoying and take pretty long, but honestly, that's something that we can do after we move in, so I'm not too concerned with that. Like, I don't find that to be a big deal. Plus, going those few extra steps to make it look how I want, I would rather do that and make it like look nicer long term than just like settle to just put it on where the hole is now for the short term I'd rather just do it the right way so my dad is carving out the hole for this so we're gonna see how it sits on there oh boy oh is that mine or is it? mine probably it's zany poo hello 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 Babe. yes check the picture do you see the coupling is that good is that right here Oh, you were talking about the other thing. Oh, this is the coupling that we need, Dad? Right above it? One and a half inch PVC coupling? Yeah. Yeah, so the one on top and the one on bottom is right. Yeah, all right, that's what I got. It's gonna be all the way up there? Sure not, or could you guys wanna put room for the mirror? Yeah, is that gonna look weird? I don't know, you have the things that have to hang. You know, the lights. Oh, and right. Then... Wait, should I grab that? Where's the mirror? Oh, the mirror? I can't, this mirror is so heavy, holy crap. Let me hold the light, you hold the mirror. Wait, should I grab the piece that goes on here so we can see? If you want. Okay. Uh, I don't know where those are though. They're not in this thing. Are they? Does it not come with it? Wait, wait a second. Oh, they're under it. Got them. Okay. <gasps> it's so cute, the mirror. The mirror can go either way. It has a thing for either way. Oh, it does? So if it has to go that way, that's fine. Honestly, I think it would look better that way. What do you think? Let's have one you think it looks good. You see, you see the back of it has either way? Oh, yeah, yeah. I think it would look better horizontally. It would give more room and it would give more mirror space because who's that tall? You know what I mean? Because you, you have to have room for the faucet. Exactly. You have to have room for those things hanging. Yeah, I think it should go the other way. Because this is going to hang down. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's why we had to go really high. Yeah, that's going to hang down. So yeah, I think it should it go be horizontally. Right around here, is that good? It has to go that high? Our sink faucet is very small. Oh, yeah, that's true. So we, we could probably go down lower. Maybe do it like right here and here somewhere. Mm hmm. Yeah. Let me get Zane's approval. FaceTime my love. Making a FaceTime call to my love. Hi, I need your opinion. Uh huh. So I think that the mirror going horizontally would look way better and we would fit everything better. Is, are you okay with that? Yeah, yeah, it looks good. Okay. Just wanted to make sure. Alright, no problem. Uh, okay, love you. Bye. Oh, it's so cute though. You can't put it a little bit lower? Could. I already started cutting the hole. You did? I'd rather it not touch the ceiling. If there's like just a little bit of a gap. Why don't you take the plastic off so we can see? Oh, you cut the, the hole really oh, high. I just made a little line. Okay, I can cover that. Can you go a little bit higher? Like maybe block it a little bit more? I'll go a little bit lower so it's not touching, like an inch lower. Like yeah, that. yeah. That looks better than if it's actually touching. Yeah, that looks dumb. The most exciting part about this light fixture, you guys, is that it came with like everything. It came with the toilet paper holder, so I think we're gonna put this on this side of the vanity. I think that would look really nice. We still have to clean these floors really good, so don't worry about that. So I think this would go on here, because that's the best place for it. I wouldn't want it on the wall, because I hate when toilet paper's behind you, so I kind of want it in front here, because this is gonna be like perfect distance from the toilet, so I think that will go there. We've also got a towel hook, which I think will go on this side, because this is gonna have some empty wall, whereas this side I think it's gonna hit like pretty much straight up against this um, radiator so I don't want this by the light switch because it's gonna be like the wet towel and people wiping their hands and stuff so there would just be more space on this side which I think would look better anyways and it also came with a towel rack how cute it has to be properly screwed in but like how cute is that so maybe this will go on the other side of the vanity on the wall opposite where the toilet paper is maybe over there we'll see to be honest, now that I'm looking at it, I think that might be the only spot for it, so. So right against that wall, I think would look fine. Okay guys, we got our kitchen faucet. Let's see, let's see it. Oh, it's a box in a box. We love those. Ooh, ooh, it's a skinny little box. Where's that spackle knife you just used? I'll put it back. Oh, you got it. Mm, oh, right. well, guess we're not returning it. <laughs> ooh, ooh, reveal, reveal. Ooh. La, la. Oh wow, this is nice. Good pick, babe. I'm impressed. Wait, click the, oh, it's greasy. Click this into place. It has two different speeds. Oh, I like that that's hard to press, so you don't do it on accident. Mm -hmm. Oh, maybe it's not. 
Did I just break it? What? Whoa! Oh, that's good, because <laughs> it's not attached yet. Interesting, wait, does this stay? Okay, I think we figured it out. I think this is awake, because this is pretty heavy. I think this holds it in place, I think. But we'll figure that out once we get the sink in. That'll be in a while, but at least we have it, and it's gorgeous. The light fixture is up, it's beautiful. I love it. We're getting our little, little faucet put on. I think it's a little bit too small, but I think maybe once we have the mirror up there, it'll look fine. It's cute. It's widow. We don't really need a big one. For what? But right now, I am doing something that I have been waiting to do. You guys know how much I love peeling things off of things. I'm sure you can tell on camera, but this bath liner has like a whole peel back thing. Oh, I am so excited to do this. Peeling Adventures with Liz and Zane. Hey, I was reading the comments on today's vlog and a lot of people like the Liz and Zane thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they said the merch should be just with Listen Zane. Because you fill in the beginning. It could be like Walmart Adventures with Listen Zane. Or it could be like Peeling Adventures with Listen Or like Amazon Haul with Listen Zane. You know what I mean? Gotcha, Everything's gotcha. Everything's with Listen Zane. So we should make that merch and we should make Hungry merch. What else? This is nice. This is nice. This is real nice. Oh. And all done so. Now we get to put on the handles and whatnot so that we don't shower with it looking like this. That would be a little crusty busty. Oh my God, you guys. It's almost done. We're about to put up the mirror. We don't have bulbs for that yet, but we're about to put the mirror up and it's gonna be completed. I'm so freaking excited. Let me see your height. Right here. Any higher than here is basically a waste of time. Exactly. So right about where my dot is, is this should be the top. Okay, so I'm in about the right spot. Beautiful. Well, it's half of 25 and a half is Okay, Google. Just kidding, we don't have one yet. <gasps> we could put a little mini Google right in the window so you can listen to... By the way, guys, we're replacing these windows. If some, I think I saw that one person ask about it. And we still have to paint it white, so that needs to be refreshed. And we're replacing this light, obviously. Time! Put it <gasps> You just dirtied my wall! With your dirty level! <gasps> that is messed up. Now we gotta do more touch-ups. Yeah, that's side? Yeah, what do you guys think? Yeah. Horizontally, I guess? Do it. <laughs> oh, baby. Cute! What do you think? Beautiful. Looks good. You wash your hands now. Now we can put little succulents in the corner. It looks naked. <gasps> we can wash our hands! We Just can buy careful. our first soap! But this isn't corked down yet, but this is screwed. This is screwed to the wall. Okay. So we just have to... Don't jiggle it. Don't test it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. What the heck? Wait, we can buy our first soap if we want to. Okay, guys. Bathroom is almost complete. This top isn't like screwed on yet or whatever you want to call it. So I want, I'm want. trying not to like touch it too much and forget and then it like freaking falls off and cracks. That would be... That would happen to me. But I think we might have to be extra and flip this the other way. Um, Zane can't see in it, and I think if we lowered it anymore, it might look uncentered between the light and the vanity thing. I think it like suits it better this way, but we might have to flip it the other way, which is fine, I guess. It doesn't really matter to me, whatever. I was just saying that this way would take up more space on the wall, so I guess now we'll just have to put more, like, we'll have to think of, like, some decorations for the side, otherwise it would look super empty. I mean, it does look empty now, but, like, you know what I mean, it just takes up more wall space. But we got our light in, we got the vanity in, very happy. So we got this a while ago. It was, like, one of the first things that we bought, if you guys remember. Um, this was from Home Depot, so it actually has cabinets right here, and there's the plumbing. My dad raised the plumbing in the wall so that it would fit such a god and then there's another cabinet over here and it's got two shelves in it oh we didn't paint that part of the wall now it looks weird we'll have to paint that <laughs> and then it's got a big giant draw at the bottom which is separated which is awesome because we can have his and hers and once this floor is cleaned properly and once everything is like really in place we need to put the molding around the shower and the bathroom will be complete at least one room will be complete and we actually talked about it i think that i'd rather because tomorrow we're gonna be picking up the carpet but i don't think we're we're gonna install it yet because I'd rather get this doorway up right there. It needs to be a doorway because then we can get all of this wood out of here. And look at this. When we moved everything, there's like a ton of scrap sheetrock and stuff like that. I'd rather get all of this out and all the cutting done so that sawdust doesn't fly onto the carpet. You know what I mean? So I think we're gonna end up installing the carpet probably on Tuesday, which isn't a big deal if we can get everything done. That is. Also, we have this part of the countertop put together, and then this little chunk right here goes over there. So we still need to put this together. The wood is laying 
right there, so I wanna do that also. Like I said, just to keep the air clean and no dust flying into my carpet, it's gonna be a brand new carpet, so I'd just rather put in the extra effort to keep it clean. Sorry if I mispronounced this, but today's notification shout out goes to Mara Vanessa. Thank you so much for watching, and thank you for having on your notifications, and I'm so glad you're enjoying the vlogs, and it means the world to me to have you guys in on everything that's going on, so don't thank me for letting you in. Thank you for watching and letting me put out this content, and you guys enjoy it. It means more to me than you would ever know. If anyone else would like a notification shout out, comment down below letting me know that you have my notifications turned on and you might be in my next video. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye guys.